Hey guys, today we're going to be using some washable markers, a black crayon or a dark crayon, scissors, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Now you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to fold the long side. Uh, you can do it up or down and you're going to make like a triangle. All right, then you're going to take a pencil and you're going to trace along that line. Then take your scissors and cut the piece of paper off the end where you trace the line. This is going to make your paper a perfect square. Cool, huh? All right, so now make sure your crease is nice and defined and then open it up and you're going to have it where it's kind of shaped like a, a diamond. Now I want you to take your finger and practice drawing the half of a heart. Then you're going to take a pencil and you're going to draw your half a heart and make sure and color it in really dark because I'm going to show you a cool trick. You only have to draw half of it and then we're going to make it uh, symmetrical. So then you're going to flip your paper over and you're going to draw the other, you're going to trace the line that you just drew to draw the other side of your heart. Now I made a mistake and I decided not to edit it out of the video, but I'm just going to show it to you because I make mistakes all the time. I colored the wrong side. So if you happen to do that, just flip it over and then you're going to trace that line and you'll see as I do that, I'm going to trace it and make it nice and dark so I'll be able to see it on the other side. Then when you open up your paper, voila, you can see it and then you can trace over it and that way both sides of your heart are symmetrical. It just it makes it easier to do. Okay, so now I'm going to start coloring. I'm doing Roy G. Biv, The Colors of the Rainbow. You do it however you like. Any color combination will be fine. This just gave me a pattern to go by. Um, so as you do it, you're just going to be drawing straight lines across until you get to your heart. Now when you get to the heart, you're going to kind of do like a bump. You're going to follow the curve of your heart and it's going to be like a road bump and you're going to make, uh, you're going to follow that. You want it to kind of be defined. You'll see as I'm making my heart, I've got the the curve, it's almost like the curve of a rainbow, and the more defined your curve, the better your optical illusion is going to be, and it's going to make your heart look like it's three-dimensional. Okay, you'll see I'm still using my Roy G. Biv colors, and take your time. Uh, this, this took me about 20 minutes, and I sped it up just so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me draw for 20 minutes, but I want you to take your time and do your very best. Uh, you can do shapes other than a heart. This was just something simple to start with. You guys are so creative. I love to see what you come up with. Um, so as you'll see, as I start getting more towards the bottom of my heart, I will start making the curve not so pronounced. So it'll be more like one bump instead of two. we go. Now, if you want to take this a step further and make it kind of cool, um, I'm going to show you to, you can go ahead and get out your cup of water and your salt. You can use a salt shaker. Uh, I just brought the whole thing of salt and, uh, and a paintbrush. So once you get all the way to the bottom, there we go. All right, so now first I'm going to take a black crayon. If you don't have black, you'll see my crayon was like teeny tiny. Uh, if you've got a dark color, that'll work just fine. And you're going to shade the outside of your heart, okay? So I shaded it with a with the black crayon, um, and that's going to give it definition. It's going to make it pop. All right, so there you see my paintbrush and my salt and my water. And then you're going to lightly paint over your picture with water. Now don't get your brush too wet because it will make the paper crinkle up. And this is what I'm using is just uh, copy paper so it's not like the art paper that we use in the art room. It will really fold up on the sides and that's okay if it does that too. Uh, then you sprinkle just a little bit of salt 
and you're going to let that sit for about 30 minutes and the salt will absorb the water. 